Okie dokie. Well, hello everybody. And um, so I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy 14 blog post right now. And um, today is Monday, so it is the day that I have to put the finishing touches on it all, and then uh, actually get it posted up. So because of that, I'm kind of rushing through this. I don't really have a whole lot of time. My um, my window is between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., so that leaves me about um, at least uh. 45 minutes I'd probably say to start getting things set up so and like you like I've been doing on a lot of these videos I just find it a lot easier to just simply make a video about it and just uh, upload it and then just put it on my blog post that have to sit here and type down this monstrous wall of text and, you know so yeah it, doing it like this is gonna save me a lot of time so a couple of things I need to go over um one I got a new team Again, uh, courtesy of uh, DJ Screw, um, he's the one that came up with this team, and I've, I've liked it ever since, so props to him for doing that. Um, and then I'm going to show a new game mode called Tower of Doom. And once again, because I don't want to have to sit here and type down uh, this huge wall of text and how the, the mini game works and all that, I'm just going to make a video, um, upload it, and... And just go from there. So, and like I like I often do on a lot of these videos, I am gonna have some music going in the background. Um, this is gonna be Thuria, uh, Sarados de Panacotas. I can't pronounce that. Um, and yeah, the the picture quality on these are really bad. The uh, album art. Um, I'm using a new media player. Um, VPN or something like that but yeah the the pictures are really bad uh, but at least they're showing them Windows Media Player what I used to use it doesn't show any album art at all it's like a black square so better than nothing I guess and um and I do have the external speaker turned on because this album is pretty cool it's a pretty cool album to listen to so yeah, I, I want to hear it, so I'm probably going to end up talking over it. And it also means my uh, microphone here is doing double duty. It's capturing both my voice and the stuff coming out of the speaker. So, And I'll, I'll probably end up having to talk over it. So we'll start by going over here but yeah this is this is my uh, again uh, DJ screw pretty much came up with this for me I, I think we actually uh, he actually mentioned it yesterday um, like if you can get three King Helidors if you can get three of them you'll have yourself one hell of a team um, but yeah uh, elementalist uh, weapon is Vulcan's Mace. Uh, you deal, sam deal, deal damage to an enemy. Um, you know. Yeah, so 6 times 3, 18. So about 55 points of damage to an enemy. Um, and then it'll trade off. Uh, if my... I'm guessing a mixture of 24 red and brown gems, if my math is right. Oh, and I call it, I call it the I call it the Johnny Walker team. The, the the song I Drink Alone by George Thorogood. He had a line in there, and my bro and his brothers. No, what what? Let me back up. Just me and my pal Johnny Walker and his brothers, black and red, and we drink alone. That that little lyric. As I'm as I'm looking over this team, that's the first thing that came to mind. I mean, technically, I mean, technically it's brown, not black, but you get the idea. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, just do a quick demo on how this team works. Oh, that's not the one.
Okay, so what the big goal? Uh, focusing on browns and purples. Okay, I guess while I'm here, while I'm here. So, we got two big trades here. You, you create, create a brown gem whenever your turn starts. And a real big one. Um, give five life to all elemental allies when matching brown gems. Which you'll be doing a lot. And bear in mind, I got three of them, so a lot of brown gems out there. A lot of brand, meaning a, a lot of uh, a lot of brown matches. So and there we go. That often happens. Now I look at now look at their life total. 136 and that's gonna climb and on top of that too my elementalist I think he's he's at level 100 but at level 40 I think that's when you get a rock solid in fact I could probably go over here and look yeah level 40 rock solid you gain a barrier whenever you match brown gem so that barrier is pretty much gonna be up at all times and then, and then this part here, you, you're dealing true damage to the first enemy, so you can't target it. And in this case here, it's going to be uh, 73, I, my math is right. And then three elemental stars. Um, I hope I can show... Okay. So this here... This is a new one. Um, what it does, let me deselect it, is uh, it's going to match with any brown, green, blue, or red. And when it does, it's going to destroy. It's going to destroy all gems in a diagonal pattern. That means northeast, northwest, southwest, and southeast. So any kind of match, any kind of match, and this is going to go off. So, again, and every ability, every time you cast its ability, it's going to create three of them. So just like that, you kind of saw it. So, yeah, um, first enemy knocks into the back. And, uh, and that is that is one little drawback to this team. You're gonna hear <laughs> a lot. So just like that last uh, true blue team, if you guys ever saw that video, uh, one of the one of the one of the guys on there, Shagarath or whatever, she's gonna scream a lot. So yeah, that's gonna get really get under your skin. Same thing with this team. Not the health. Not the health. He's around 481. He's at, excuse me, he's at 481 right now. 429, 464. Uh, the bottom two. So, yeah. Like I said, you're going to be gaining a lot of life with this. Which is gonna come in handy because just like the uh, the Queen Bee group that I showed some time in the past, you're if you don't get any four matches out of this, you're basically had, you're handing a bunch of free matches to your opponent to use against you. So you're gonna need all that life gain.
we bet on the loud side. But yeah, um, that that's how the team works. So, but it, but again, let's um, let's go to PV, let's go to PVP. Let me um, uh, money. But uh, this team, it's it's not invulnerable. Like uh, like a lot of my other teams, being frozen is gonna excuse me is gonna create problems. Um, uh, well, if you're um, uh, if any of my guys gets webbed, uh, they're not gonna deal any damage. not the best team to test this out on. Frozen. Okay, and speaking of Frozen, I kind of, since I'm here, and yeah, let me, uh, let me try to explain Frozen real quick for those that don't understand. Um, uh, now, normally when you're frozen, um, you're you're barred from getting you're barred from getting extra turns. But something that I wasn't aware of when I first started playing this game, and I don't think the uh, tutorial really explains it. What they say is when a troop is frozen, they can't get any extra turns. What really what they should be saying is um, it's the color that's frozen, not the troop. So. It's not Chalcedony that's frozen. It's the color she's rep she's representing, like in this case, brown and yellow. So you can't get extra turns off of any brown or brown or yellow matches. So so it kind of along the same lines with my team. My whole team relies on uh, brown and red. So what that means is all all that's necessary to really put a crimp in my group is to have just one of my guys frozen. You don't have to have the whole entire team frozen in order for for in order for frozen to be a, to work. Just like this guy here. I don't I mean he's the only guy with purple. But if I had a purple group, all that would be necessary is to just have one guy be frozen. One guy that has purple be frozen. So. And again. These guys are dealing true damage. That means uh, it ignores armor, as you can as you can tell by him. We're not even touching his armor rating. That's the number in the middle. The life total is the uh, orange one on the lower right. The orange number on the lower right. Okay, so uh, I believe I've done enough on that. Haha! <laughs> I won one. Yeah, and I have the very same group as my defense team. So I'm gonna go ahead and um. Oh, wrong one. So I'm gonna kind of explain Tower of Doom the way that works. This is what I. This is what I spent a good chunk of my session doing. Um, so, you have to go up, you have to go up the floors, I'm at floor 16 right now, 
Um, each floor has four rooms. Now, one unique thing about this um, this mini game here that I don't recall seeing in a whole lot of other other games I've played over the years. Now, this is a this is a guild-based event, so everybody contributes. And yeah, I'm number one for the moment, anyway. But like I said, every, everybody in your guild contributes. But what's um, what's also kind of unique about this mini game is that uh, the way the rooms are set up, it's gonna apply for the entire guild. So because of that, um, some guilds, including our like ours, uh, we they've actually built a website. Everybody comes on. Everybody comes on here, and as they're completing rooms, they're logging them in. They're logging them into this website, and other other guild members can use this when they do their own tower runs. They can just take a look at this. Uh, just go only go after the ones they want to go after, and the ones they want. The ones you'll most likely want to go after are the ones that say unlock. They're the ones that uh, unlock the uh, floor boss, the boss of that floor, which allows them to ascend to the next floor. Um, other ones, you know, you can get to, um, I think Haste was one, Fireball. Yeah, um, if a particular floor has a fireball scroll, which basically allows you to win a room battle. Um, floor 13 has one. If you go on the purple room, that's where it is. Um, I Power has one. And uh, also, the, the floor setups are gonna be different from guild to guild too, so. Our setup is unique to us. But yeah, but like usual, you can get rewards, and like I said a few minutes ago, this is a guild-based event, so everybody in the guild contributes to this. This isn't, this isn't my, my personal progress or anything like that. This is, and I think it goes to stage 12, yep. But yeah, but as you can, as you can see, our guild... Not a whole lot of people are contributing. So, got a fair amount of zeros. And I think, um, I think DJ Screw said this too. If, um, uh, in other guilds, if nobody was contributing at all, they'd be out. And, um, there's a lot of guilds out there that have minimum requirements. Oops, I got it. Here, while I'm here, let me claim this before I forget again. Yeah, uh, if you look at the bot, if you look at the bottom, you have to contribute at least 25,000 25, gold. You had to have gained at least 500 seals and you had to have gotten at least one trophy. So yeah, a lot of these guilds have uh, contribution requirements. And I think, um, I think I read somewhere too, some of these guilds, they require you to participate in guild events. Otherwise, boot, out the door you go. So. But anyway, um, I believe that, I believe I've explained everything I want to do. So I kind of need to get back going on my blog post. So I got to get that all done up, done up and typed up and posted up. So, so yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.